today is a special day because today is finally the day in which I'm going to start my extreme budgeting. The, for this week, I will only try to spend $30 for the whole meal um, that we're going to have. And this video actually is inspired by my favorite YouTuber and she spent only $30 for the whole week for the family of six. In my case, though, um, I only have my husband, me, and my son. So um, I'll see how that works because I spend more than $30 per week. And I had trouble with that that time, too. But to, So I will try to, uh, scrunch, to crunch all the numbers and see if $30 will work for us. So note also that I'm a Filipino, so we will, I will try to make recipes that... Um, um, mostly all Filipino style and then what's gonna happen here is that I will show you also my meal planning my preparation and how I how I serve those meals so stay tuned and see and follow me um, and follow me with this um, journey see you in a bit right now I'm in front of my computer ordering all the ingredients and all the things I needed for the week and it's pretty, really pretty easy to do. You just have to order everything there online and they will give you a pickup time. And yeah, all I had was $30.67. I'm trying to fit them in one week. These are the stuff I got from Walmart. I have the uh, yeast, I have ground meat. I'm going to use them three times. Uh, I'll be using them for empanada and then I have the franks and which I'm going to use them for fried rice and use it for the embutido and I have the whole chicken those chicken I'm going to divide them into half and I use half of it boil it and use it as a filling for my shofo and then I have a five, five pound rice I will be using them for the rice, I will be using them for fried rice and then I have dry yeast. I actually have to change that yeast to instant yeast. And I have to have baking powder also because that's very important for the steam buns and I can use some leftover to make bread for the next, next week. And I made, I have here the tortilla. Oh, I thought I will, I'm getting a big one. So, but then, so I guess I will be having a smaller tortilla for breakfast and I have cane sugar that sugar is for um, porridge I'm going to make porridge for a breakfast too and then some of them used to for the steam buns and for the empanada and cane sugar is actually white it's not brown so I was worried about that I was not sure if it's brown or not but it's white so I will have a white steam buns and then I have a bell pepper. I will use that for our embutido. And then I have uh, evaporated milk. And then this one right here, the bouillon, is very important for the soup. And then I have one dozen eggs for the burrito, for the boiled egg, and for the adobo. For half of the chicken, use it for adobo. Adobo is really good with egg. I will be using that too. And I guess that's it. And I almost forgot about the uh, frozen spinach. And I got, um, that's for the soup, chicken soup. And I have the frozen uh, carrots and peas too. Um, next time I will not buy frozen spinach because frozen spinach chop. And I have the all-purpose flour. And I was thinking the onion is just one piece for seven cents, but I got three of them. So I'm going to chop everything and freeze some of them so that it will not um, stale or get rotten quickly. And I have beans for the burrito. And then I have butter. That's for the empanada and for the uh, steam buns. And it's really cheap too. Whoa, Walmart is really amazing. And all of this, all for $30. In fact, $29.67 because there was a subs there I mean they said the chicken was on sale first you really need to prepare everything the ingredients chop everything it makes it easier I started cooking at 9 o'clock in the morning and I got done at 2 o'clock so it makes it easier 
So chop everything ahead of time. So I have to prepare um, crack four eggs, uh, beat them for the burrito, add some uh, salt and pepper and set them aside. Now I will have to boil egg and then I'm getting ready for the empanada filling. Uh, the empanada filling I have oil in there and then I have, um, I got, I'm getting ready half of the chicken. For the filling, I put around 8 cups of water on that um, big pot and cover the uh, boiled egg and let it boil until soft. And for the empanada filling, I added onion there and then the quarter part of the brown pork. So there's, I still have uh, around 75% left over and then season the empanada filling with soy sauce add in one cup of green peas and more soy, soy sauce if you want to and you can add pepper and now I'm preparing for our adobo I used half of the chicken for the adobo um, I forgot my budget did not let me buy garlic so it's a mortal sin to have adobo without garlic oh boy that's wrong now I'm preparing for the uh, burrito filling and I put a little bit of the franks there but next time I will not do that. Uh, it, it did not taste really good but it's still eatable <laughs> so it's still good there. And then now the adobo there I added soy sauce and then I added also in that adobo um, vinegar. And now I'm working on the burrito filling. I added bell pepper on the burrito. I did not like it, so I don't recommend it. Next time I will skip that. And now I'm checking on the boiled chicken. And I season the chicken with salt and pepper. Don't throw the, the broth, shred the chicken meat, and then we are gonna use that and cook that for our steam buns. Right now, we are working on our steam bun filling and we start them with onion and we will use the shredded chicken we had and we don't have any fancy um, ingredients because of the low budget we have so you can just add soy sauce with it and season it according to your liking add sugar I, I use about two not tablespoons of sugar with this ingredients and it's not a fancy type of steam bun filling, but it's really, really good. And we are now starting to make our empanada crust. The ingredients are very simple. We have our baking powder, we have the flour, and we have butter in there. And just work on um, the, the crust until the ingredients stick to each other. I use about five tablespoons of cold water in this one. And what you're gonna do is that you're just gonna mix them with your hand and make sure that they bind together and then wrap them uh, with a plastic wrap, wrap and then uh, refrigerate it for one hour.
Well, the empanada crust is sitting in the fridge for one hour. We are now making our steam buns. And the ingredients are so simple. We have the flour and we have the milk. And the ingredients for this, the, the process, I will post them below in the description, si description uh, space below and just I cannot really tell you much about it right now so just try to read them um, down in the description box and just follow the step-by-step -step instruction. So right now we are working on our empanada uh, crust. It's a little cumbersome. It's pretty hard to flatten. And please check on the description box below for the recipe and the process. And if you go to my blog, there's also a video on how to do it. And I should have used a bigger cookie cutter to make a bigger empanada, but still it's okay. And we are going to use this empanada for uh, my son's snacks when he comes home and he, this empanada will be going to his lunch box too and maybe I'll bring some for our, myself and my husband too. Now I'm preparing the buns for the, our steam buns and I divided into 16 or 12 pieces I guess and these buns are really really soft and I'm going to steam them and you know, what you do is that you uh, form them into a ball, a ball and then use your rolling pin and uh, fill them with the chicken you prepare. Again, this filling are not really fancy, but they are really so very delicious. And you can go to my blog for the fancy version of the filling. But right now, what we were using is just a chicken filling with soy sauce in them and uh, with sugar. So it's just two ingredients filling. and steam the steam buns we call this steam buns we call it shopau and steam it for 45 minutes and i forgot to tell you about the the paper underneath the buns those are just parchment paper and now let's move on to our we call this omelette and i think you guys call it a quiche but these are just very simple ingredients um, what we used was the ground pork we had and then I used egg also and then just bake it for uh, until the meat are cooked, the meat is cooked through. I used the last quarter of that uh, ground pork we had and this meal is very high protein and I, I claim that it's healthy too.
oh my goodness, it feels like we have an ending supply of ground pork. This is just some leftover that we had. And what's going to happen here is I'm going to make it into mini meatballs. But the plan for this is that I'm going to put them in a soup and add some spinach in it and then the broth that we had uh, from the chicken. So this can go to the lunch too or any snacking we have. So this is really good uh, mini meatballs. And now it's burrito time. So I have the smaller burrito this time because I made a mistake of buying a smaller uh, tortilla. So just simple as that, you're just going to wrap the uh, filling with a burrito, with a tortilla. And we usually eat them for lunch. And I usually add it for my son's lunch box too. And we sometimes have it for dinner. This is a very versatile meal. Okay, now it's time to cook rice, my most favorite in this uh, menu. And I do not know how many cups I poured in that pot, but um, as usual, I only wash my rice one time. My parents usually wash theirs three times, which I thought is weird. But, and this is how I cook rice. I just use my finger, my ring finger, and measure the water. And I have been doing this for a long time and never miss and I never failed with doing this tactic and then I will just turn on the rice cooker and do you know guys that I have three rice cooker at home in different sizes I thought that's funny too <laughs> And we have leftover chicken, so I use uh, a lot of ginger to make chicken soup. Um, we call this tinola. This is supposed to have, we are supposed to have garlic in this, but since we don't have garlic, I just have used a lot of ginger with this, and then onion. And I added the chicken and used the broth we had and cook the chicken and then add the chopped spinach when done and then turn off the heat. This is really very delicious, guys. It, it's a little spicy, but it's really good for you. I think this is the best too. And I do not know, I have not seen my American friends cook this type of uh, chicken soup, but this is what we call tinola in the Philippines. So I think we're done with all the cooking here. And first I'm going to show you is the omelette and I just slice them and cut it into squares and I'm going to bring this to lunch. My husband will have this too and we can eat them for dinner too. And this is really, really good. You can um, add, top it with ketchup or any mustard and this is really delicious. So here's our adobo without the garlic, that, which is really weird. And adobo is good with boiled egg. You can cook the boiled egg together with adobo, but then right now we're just doing it separately. And yeah, this is really delicious even though there's no garlic in them. And so here is all the menu we have. And in the picture, there's no rice in them. I made a fried rice and then beans. I'm going to make uh, beans with rice also with this. And here's the leftover uh, ingredients. So this I'm going to use them for next week. And here they are ready to be refrigerated. And I really hope you guys enjoy this. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe below and please leave me a comment. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Even though that video is really, really long, it's about 20 minutes. But I really enjoy the, doing this journey for one week. And I did not spend $30. I spent $29.67 because uh, last minute Walmart had a chicken sale. So they deducted that to my bill. And what one thing I learned from this journey for this week is that don't be too picky. Um, yes, the ingredients are really, really uh, very hard to get with our limited budget but um, I'm lucky also that my family is not very picky eater I'm not a picky eater and so uh, in spite of the ingredients I bought I was able to get creative with the taste of the food that I I cooked this week and I have leftover ingredients from last week for, for this for this journey and so I'm going to use them for next week so I will have less than $30 for next week and thank you so much hope you enjoy it and please take care and God bless